Kyiv's punitive forces continued to attack civilian objects in Lugansk. So, on July 28, five elderly people were killed in a retirement home in Lugansk under punitive forces shelling. Southern surroundings continue to constrict around the punitive forces of Kyiv. So, the next blow of the People's Army destroyed a group of armored vehicles and a large amount of Punisher's manpower. The militants of radical nationalist group Right Sector extorted gasoline from the gas station Lukoil in Ivano-Frankovsk for the need of the punitive forces of Kyiv. According to the workers of the station, the militants said they would block the work of the company until it fulfills their demands or closes all enterprises in Ukraine. Earlier, Interpol announced the nationalist group leader Dmitry Yarosh wanted. Attempt of pro-Kyiv forces to take control of the crash site of the Malaysian Airlines Boeing 37 would be in breach of Resolution 2166 of the UN Security Council, said the permanent representative of Russia to the World Organization Vitaly Churkin. He also expressed concern about the statements of Ukraine authorities on the possible military operation in the area of the crash.